It's been very hard. Shane Sutherland's mother gripping hands with the mother of his children, both women standing outside the convenience store where Sutherland was arrested, wondering why did he die? I have to make arrangements to lay my son to rest. Both mothers holding on to each other for support. According to Stockton police, officers came to the store after an employee called 911, saying Sutherland allegedly threatened to throw a wine bottle at them. When officers arrived, they asked Sutherland to come outside. They say he allegedly admitted to recently using drugs and tried to run away. They tackled him to the ground and handcuffed him. Police say Sutherland continued to resist, so one officer held him down while the other pressed a baton against his shoulder to hold him down. They say Sutherland stopped breathing, so they took the cuffs off and tried to resuscitate him. Medics brought him to the hospital, where police say he died. I've never experienced pain like this ever in my life. I, this is like a parent's worst nightmare. Sutherland was the father of Erica Bellotti's two young children. From the day they were born, he loved them unconditionally, just with his whole heart, just all he cared about. Sutherland was 29 years old, Karen Shabill's oldest child, one of six siblings. He loved coaching. He coached football, little little kids football. He loved fishing. He loved his job. He was a window glazier for the union. The parents should not have to bury their child. And now the babies have to grow up with no dad. Sutherland's family wants to know why he's now dead 10 days before his 30th birthday. He's not just going to go in somewhere and just threaten to hurt somebody. That just was out of character for him. And I want people to know that. I just want to know exactly what happened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's just too many holes, too many gaps to why. In Stockton, Marley Martinez, KCR Rate 3 News.